Hello, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nadia Adam. I'm a Vedic astrologer and psychic medium. So today we are going to talk about the energy update between 20 of August until 27th of August, all right? So and within upcoming one week. As usual, I will divide my explanation into several parts and the timestamp will be in the description of the box along with my personal details if you're interested to book a personal reading with me. Right, so the upcoming one week, it can be a bit chaotic. <laughs> okay. It's quite chaotic because actually from tonight or tomorrow, wherever you are located on planet Earth, we're having Mercury going to enter Gandanta point again, all right, which is Leo and will be, I mean, it's Leo going back to Cancer, okay? Although it's going to be still in the nakshatra ruled by Mercury itself as Ashlesha, but Gandanta is a Gandanta, okay? And there's not really a pleasant placement to for any planet to sit at, all right? So what does that mean and what it signifies? Um, we spoke a lot about the Gandanta point. It's the... It, it's it located between water sign and fire sign. That's mean 29 degree of water and 1 degree of fire in every single place, like 23.9 Scorpio, first degree of Sagittarius. Same thing here. We have in 29 degree Pisces and then we have 1 degree of Aries, all right? So Gandanta is the point between, it's a bridge, we can call it, all right? Where the planet can feel a bit uneasy and losing its control and power when it's in Gandanta because the transition in energy will be extreme and like a fire can evaporate the water, right? And with the water, fire also may not be exist. For example, we don't have fires in the ocean. Does that make sense? So it's like two strong polarity, okay, or power are fighting each other in order to demand one another. So the planet at this point, placement in particular will feel lost okay am i in water am i in fire makes sense now mercury now is retrograding to the sign of cancer all right mercury will feel more chaotic okay it's already chaotic because it's going retrograde backwards it's not usual movement of mercury of course all right um but because it's it's also getting into gandanta so mercury automatically will feel very very uneasy kind of in lost even in Navamsha if you can see here as if like it's retrograding from Aries you can see is going back to Pisces don't initiate any heated argument don't initiate any discussion all right make sure that your car is fixed and everything is said your papers are fixed and said um meetings every significant important meeting if you can just delay that please delay it all right the most okay the people that going to feel it the most is, are we can say when if you have a strong element in leo cancer Capricorn and also Aquarius. So these four people will kind of feel it. Either it's as your ascendant, moon, or Mahadasha, lord. All right? That it sits in these four signs. Most probably you will feel it the most. All right? Now, uh, Virgo and Gemini may feel it also to some extent because it's ruling, it's ruled by Mercury, right? But not as strong as Leo and Cancer. Number two. Capricorn and Aquarius, number three, then Gemini and Virgo. Okay, so this is signifies many things. Number one, what we can talk about here, perhaps a old theme. If nobody came back from you to you from in the previous two three weeks when Mercury was retrograding, then maybe it can gonna come back right now. Mercury shows here maybe an ending. Okay, unexpected ending, but at the same time also an unexpected new beginning is a number two especially in in aspect related to relationship and personal life because cancer here it shows our comfort zone okay so that means something that we really sincerely love it we really care about it all right regardless whatever it is is it a cat is it your career is your marriage is your finance is your siblings in the it doesn't matter where is cancer in your chart it's going to get activated heavily during this period 
okay some exposure in regards to the house where cancer sits also may happen okay um number three issues related to communication and discussion that's obviously 100 percent going to get intensified all right fights will be more maybe even let's say you not fighting but you will see people are fighting with each other people are having awkward conversation with each other okay so awkwardness in any awkwardness in everything related to mercury will be there right don't start anything even right we'll get delayed we'll get rejected okay we'll get postponed so you may not get the answer that you are looking for Okay, even if it's me that I want to open up my heart because it can indicate an impulsiveness in our communication and our the way how we want to convey our mind, our thoughts, ideas. Okay, so actually in the next five days is quite tense. So we just all stay quiet. <laughs> okay, stay at home, stay quiet, don't do much. All right, and I hope this Gandanda thing will pass mostly. It's just that um the sign of Cancer and Leo, or in particular this particular Gandanta, it's just been so much activated. Venus just passed through it. Sun just passed through it, and then now again Mercury will pass through it. Right, it's already passed. Then retrograde now coming back and then again we'll be it's just like so much chaos going on in particular for people who have cancer and leo placement either is as your ascendant your moon mahadasha lord you will find during this time your life can really change 180 degree all right between august until you can say the end of the year even okay by the aspect also of saturn here saturn Although it's looking at Leo, but it never will forget the cancer because when it's retrograding, it's actually looking backward. So it may get effect on cancer, even if it's 20%. Saturn has to do with structure. So that's mean there is some shake up here and there, either internally or externally in your life. Okay. Okay, fine then. All good. <laughs> Pass two. Now, 25th, let us just move forward. On 25th, we're going to have Venus. Okay, let me make it at 26 to be more specific. Here we go. Okay, Venus will be on 26, one degree of Virgo. That means we'll be moving on 25th, okay? On 25th, Venus will be entering the sign of Virgo. Yeah. And it will conjunct K2. Okay, this is can be quite chaotic. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that because the dispositive itself is moving great to great and even a water sign. Okay, um, Mercury, it's fine to sit in the water sign, but it's not the best placement. Okay, because um, Mercury is the air, is not water planet. Okay, to just go to the basic of the element here. All right. Mercury is Vayu, not Jala. So when Vayu and Jala mix together, there is like some sort of confusion going on here. I don't know, do am I comfortable here? Am I not comfortable here? Okay. And then we have in Venus here is debilitated in the sign of Virgo. I have different view about debilitated Venus when it's come to the um you know, yeah, like your birth chart, right? Or natal chart. But when it comes to the transit, it can be a bit heavy. Um, number one, it can indicate, because again, Mercury is kind of weak, in my opinion, it can indicate some misunderstanding, miscommunication, ending of relationship, partnership, business, all right? Um, it may get into losses, um, the, the fall down of stock market and the whole, this drama thing that happened in past 10 days, something, it may repeat itself again when Mercury, sorry, when Venus entered to Virgo, okay? Because K2 is, act like a knife. I always say, K2 and Mars act like a knife or scissor. It will cut something. Although that cutting, it may feel like a bit tragic, it's not nice. But at the end of the day, it will give us what's the best for us, right? So um, there is a reshuffle, especially again, if you have heavy Cancer, Leo, okay? Now, again, we are playing out with Virgo, Gemini, okay? 
you have some relationship which is not easy you have some partnership which is not easy there can be an a cut here uh, some job situation ship that is just not comfortable for you some business that it just doesn't work out with you there can be some cut or at the same time there can be some a new beginning k2 and venus can also indicate a help okay someone from a past someone who has some I don't know, like a past relationship, okay, soulmate or someone divine just bring to you in order to help you with that, okay? But at the same time, there is that, that polarity of extreme. Either is a cutting the thing or either is fixing the thing. It depends on how things are going on with you right now at this point because Venus only have five days left in Leo and you already already supposed to feel the vibe. Whether Venus in cast Virgo, it will be helpful or not. Okay, I really hope is that makes sense. Um, again, it can indicate that people collectively will be focused on health and well being. Um, which I think we have some drama happened about the mpox thing. I guess going on, so it can get more viral when K two when Venus entered sign of Virgo. Okay, um, the economy of course I was as I. I spoke about it can get a bit lower so be careful don't invest don't put your money anywhere you just keep it okay so it's only for like 25 days so it will be between 25th of August until 9, 18th of September so it should be fine okay um, avoid any argument any conflict in regards to relationship and partnership that's for sure because Venus is not really helpful and we all going to take pra we all going to think practically and in aggressive way how we want to take an action and decision about it. Okay. Okay, so last thing but not least, we have also going on on twenty sixth of August, we can see that Mars just entered the sign of Gemini. Well, this is a very kind of playful energy mars is, has to do with our action our motivation and our inner ignition in order for us to take an action in regards to something okay in gemini it can become a bit practical but the thing is the lot of gemini is retrograding and is not in the great placement so it can give the person a tendency to again take an action and behavior based on um emotion or based on anger or we are not going to analyze the situation properly and we're just going to take the action like that which may not end up in the good way so this whole month of august actually is asking us to just stand still do not do anything do not act do not react we only one month away from the eclipse cycle which is going to open all right i mean again come on sun will be already in leo that's mean around next month it will be entering Virgo, which is again is eclipse season. All right. So um Mars will make us practical, Mars is going to make us maybe more aggressive in terms of speech, uh, miscommunication, misunderstanding will continue the whole month, right? So stand still, don't act, to react again, I'll repeat. <laughs> okay. So um yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for listening. Wishing you to have a wonderful, beautiful week. Stay good and be good. We'll see you soon. Thank you.